I am lonely. Let's talk about Christmas. Christmas is around the corner. Is everybody excited for Santa to make an appearance? I am. I um I am really hoping he brings the Nintendo Switch because I want it super bad. I know it won't be for me, it'll be for the kids, but it's okay because I still will play it. And if he brings the Switch, I want Odyssey and I want Zelda. And I really hope he brings both of them. And if he doesn't, Santa, just so you know, we're going to fight. Christmas is literally, guys, technically tomorrow. Like, I have two hours until it's the next day. And then it's literally in 24 hours. I don't understand how the... Um, don't I do not understand how it is already December and how it is almost... Oh, God, I just spilled some. Oh, oh? No. Okay, oh? um... That Lenny doesn't intrude and uh, make me want to fight him. Hello, Arthur. Okay, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> um, what story were you telling? I was just talking about how it's almost Christmas. Oh, it's Christmas, Christmas, Christmas. Christmas time. Um, good evening and welcome to Corn and Arthur Late Night Chat Time. Hello. Hello, Arthur. How are you doing today? I'm doing swell. And you know why I'm doing so swell? Because Christmas wow. is uh, Monday and I'm off tomorrow and Christmas Day and the day after. So I have a three-day <laughs> weekend Weaky? on my on its way. And um, that makes me very excited. Um, how are you doing this evening? I am great. I have been up since like 8.30, which isn't that bad, but I got like four hours sleep, so I'm kind of dying. Ooh. But Same. it's okay. Same. I had some coffee earlier, so. I'm actually enjoying some coffee right now. It's decaf, though, because I don't want to be up all night, <laughs> you know? <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to be awake for a long time tonight, because I want to go to sleep early so I can wake up early so I can go to sleep again early so that Santa can come and see me tomorrow night. I can't wait for to see Santa. Oh my god, I can't believe he's coming in like 24 hours. Oh my god. Oh my god. So excited. Um, so, um, what have you been up to this week? Literally working. That is all I have done is work. <sighs> Nothing and... fun. No. Nothing... Well, okay, no, I lied. I lied. Um, this week wow. has been Lying a, is a birthday sin. week. What? Lying is a sin and you should uh, repent. You know what? Shut your heckin' mouth, you poopy boy anyways um <laughs> i could have said a lot of worse things so uh, yeah you could have was... you know yes. you know the dirt <laughs> i usually do say things a lot worse but i've been trying to control what i say yeah but i appreciate anyways, it yay I, anytime arthur you know i got you back but so this week was my two nephews birthdays their b days are three days apart but Damien is 11 now, the oldest, mm -hmm. and Dominic is 7. So Ooh, that's a crazy week. Been... Yeah, it's a crazy week. Uh, so Dominic's birthday was on the 19th. Um, we didn't really do much because we were doing something yesterday, which is Friday. And so we, we went to Burger King and got him Burger King because that's what he wanted for dinner. <laughs> I love kids so much. King. Like, they have the run of the town. They can literally go wherever they want. You know, like, yeah, they could go to... Yeah, like, I want to go to Burger King. They could go to Snacklebee's. They could go to... Uh, they could go to Chili. They could go to Margarita's Mexican Grill. Um, Never but no, been there. Uh, they want to go to Burger King, which... I totally get. I do love me some Whoppers. Actually, no, I don't like Whoppers. I find the ratio of veg I get their to... chicken nuggets. Their nuggies are good. Their yeah. nuggies are so good. And they're $1.49 for 10 pieces. So, like, Burger King, you the realest MVP right now. Yeah, they know what they're, they know what they're doing. Yeah, so uh, we did that on whatever day the 19th was. And then yesterday we went to Dave & Buster's, so... Oof. It was a lit time. We had dinner there, and then we played a little bit, and I essentially wasted all of my little uh, coin thingy majiggers. I think they're called, called tokens. Tokens? Even though they're, like, not physical tokens anymore? I think they're they like still a, are, though. They're, like, a card token, isn't it? They give yeah. you, like, a card. Oh, I, I wasted money on Guitar Hero. <laughs> my oh, tokens no. on Guitar Hero. I, uh, but is it I really wasted money if you're playing Guitar no. Hero? It's fun. No. 
Listen, I don't know if you knew this about me, but like I'm actually really good at Guitar Hero. I don't think that's something to brag about. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I am going to brag about it because most people this most people don't think girls can play that game and I all those boys in there that play it, they suck buttholes, so like I will Ugh. literally watch them play on easy and I'll be like, You suck and then I'll go play my little guitar whatever on expert and then they'll be like no way you're cheating and i'm like you know what you 24 year old loser go away just because you want to say that did you like id them or card them in order to figure yes. out how old they of were course. you're like I have listen to here sonny let me see that id on you i needed and, to um, know so i could make fun of them and even if they were like four i would still call them a four-year-old loser they're a loser regardless at this point um, yeah, did you get any, fun. like, big-time prizes, like, big-time, fun-time prizes while you are there? No, because I gave all my tokens to the kids. I mean, the tickets, whatever. Wow. I, I feel so old because I don't know how to... I gave my tokens to the children. Back when I was 55, it was 1944, I gave all of my tokens to that little boy across the street. He He had no shoes, so he went and bought himself a pair of dinosaur slippers. Sorry, what? <laughs> what? I, I, don't know. I, I really don't know where that went, and I'm so sorry. It, it took a few turns, and you know, <laughs> yeah. I'm okay with them, but like, <laughs> just warn me next time. I was like... I, uh, I didn't, I couldn't even warn myself. It kind of just happened. Oh my gosh. Well, that's insane. So, did you, uh, did I already ask if you won a prize? Yes, but I went off You topic, didn't answer my, did. my, okay... I you did. did not. The, the little kids did. Uh, but they we win. had like four thousand. Well, they had like four thousand. So like, I don't know what that is in terms of like. I think that can. equals out to four thousand dollars real money. Really? Yeah. So Yo, they should have just cashed that crap in. Why didn't they do that? Yeah, and we bought some like, like cocaine. We could have went to Disney. <laughs> Wait. Uh, what? No cocaine. They could have. <laughs> no cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? No. Uh, uh, we could have went to like Disney for that amount of money. That is that is a sum of money that you could probably get into Disney World with. Well, I mean, like that that would not pay for the entire trip with. Like, no, but button. you could bribe somebody at the gate, and they might let you in. Listen, you didn't hear it from me, but don't you don't ever actually buy Disney tickets for Disney. Okay, you bribe people. Is that what you're saying? No, you like find people like. <sighs> I'm not. I don't want to get in trouble. Never mind. Just... We're not gonna talk about this. Uh, Disney Corporation. I know you <laughs> own everything nowadays. Literally everything. You. They just acquired Fox. So like, they they're probably watching this stream right now, and they're about to arrest me. So if you don't hear from me next week, that I, I got arrested by Disney. They don't even arrest you. They chop your head off. Yeah, and then they put it on display for everyone to see, so they know not to do what I did. Yep. Yep. It's really tragic, and I'll cry when you die. Maybe. Um. Oh, so, wow. Uh, Somebody's going to cry when I die? I thought everyone was just going to be like, okay, and then go eat uh, some chicken nuggets. At Chili's. Or, sorry, <laughs> Chili. Yeah, no, yes. Oh, yeah, singular Chili. Hi, I'm Kylo Ren. Welcome to Chili's. <laughs> uh, I'm still really proud of my not uh, not right now. Um, I, I, whatever it was, the shirtless Shrek picture that I tweeted out, and it was oh, like, my God, that I don't was really so want to do this right now. Um, So... Uh, I finally saw Star Wars uh, early this week with my mother, and it was beautiful, and Did I really you? enjoyed it. Yeah. Um, I can don't... we talk? Can we put a disclaimer to talk about it? So, I don't. Like, if you haven't um, watched it, I don't think so because this is about Christmas, and um. So I want to talk about Star Wars. <laughs> if you can be very vague, um, like okay, so what was your favorite, most like what the what the hell moment? Like that you you saw um, it. that well that's okay. what we'll do we'll touch that so spoiler alert if you haven't seen Star War yet and you plan on it uh, just mute for the next two minutes maybe yeah because um, we're not gonna spend that long um I think for me the most like what the hell moment was the end I guess that's kind of like for everybody because at first I was I obviously was sitting in the theater with my nephew sitting next to me and he was very confused so like i was like what happened like he was just like gone if you know what i'm talking about so uh, i don't know then i understood Ugh. when 
Uh, I know, I know. Don't don't ruin it. What if somebody accidentally joined late and they didn't? I know? didn't say. I, said to be, I just said, I said to be vote, vague. <laughs> Listen, Luke Skywalker's in the movie. What Is am he? I talking about? Oh, maybe that's not. a spoiler in itself. We... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> um, my favorite what the f moment was towards the beginning when somebody milked a very attractive creature. Um. <laughs> It unlocked something oh deep god. within me <laughs> that I didn't wow. know was there. Oh my god. <laughs> I I kind of forgot that happened. I think I blocked it out of my memory. Well, it was like, just so bizarre. Like, it came yeah. out of... <laughs> it was so weird. <laughs> oh, but I loved it. Because I, I, it was yeah. so Star Wars to me. Like, that just it, yeah. weird stuff. Like, literally in the old ones, they have a person that lives in, like... Not a person, but a creature that lives in the belly button of another creature. Like, what the hell? Um, That's how I was born. Yeah. Um... That brings That's me to another are. thing. Like, so when you clean out your belly button, like in the shower or whatever, do you do like a Q-tip or do you use like a bottle cleaner, wire brush? Uh, <laughs> it's definitely a wire good brush. Good old soap up, soaped up pinky finger. I don't like, I was going to tweet this out as a poll, but I've been doing too many polls lately on Twitter. So I decided to, to pump the brakes a little bit. But what do you, yeah, what do you do? I mean... <laughs> It's just, I can't, like, how do I word this? It just, if you get too far in there, it feels really weird. It really does. Like, it's like you're kind so of like, tickling I, yeah. your old bowels. Yeah, like, it feels like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just a weird feeling. Yeah, I So, agree. like, I gotta, like, clean it really quickly because otherwise, like, I uh, feel you like start I'm to like... enjoy it too much. Uh, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I feel like I'm literally gonna, like, like leave my own body like i don't know like it's i don't know how to explain it but it just confuses me and I, that's why i clean it very quickly and i was told that if you did it too much you'll go blind so i saw um star wars early this week and um <laughs> it was really great and then i did some christmas shopping I, wait i thought you were gonna say i did some crystal meth and i was gonna say wait where is this going corn corn what did i say i said we could talk about basically anything on the show but not my crystal meth habit all right i'm so sorry i don't know if the I feds are, i don't know if the feds are watching or that listening. was literally the one thing you told me not to talk yeah about. i said corn we can talk about anything anything but if you so help me god mention the meth <laughs> um but Same so i went christmas Same shopping life. and uh the i hate drivers like i hate people that drive i think if you are over the age like every so you get your driver's license at 16 here i think every 10 years you should have to retake the driving test how how often do you have to retake it never if you get your driver's oh. license once you never have to take it again I'm stupid. Exactly. I thought there was. A... I mean, I mean, it's stupid that the not the. Yeah, stupid. that's why. I'm... <laughs> yeah, you're stupid. No, I mean, I, I'm pretty stupid. Uh, no, I essentially thought that like at some point you had to like retake the test. Like I thought it was like a long time, but like nah. I know like you have to like obviously uh, re-register or whatever and everything like that kind of crap. But like I thought like there was actually like one point you had to sit down. Well, I guess it depends on the reasoning. Like sometimes you do, but like. I mean, Just if you like, lose literally. it for like uh, law, like legal reasons, law reasons, legal reasons, uh, you law. usually have to retake it. But I mean, you should have to anyway. But I'm thinking like old people that. Oh, yeah, 100%. What, some of them, when they started driving, there weren't even like lines on the road. I don't know. That's totally made <laughs> up. I, I don't, I don't no, think that's no, a real thing. They had horses. Oh, yeah. They had horse. Uh, they had a horse that they rode around on. That's uh, true. A horse. I didn't actually mean to stutter like that um so thanks for oh my God. making I'm fun so of me sorry. um so uh oh yeah by the way this is corner arthur late night chat time hello uh, hello <laughs> hello um what an you intro. we do this every uh a, a saturday night what's today saturday night and uh we'll probably take a week we a week off we'll take a bloody week off we'll take a week off next week probably because of new year and uh I actually oh, have a cr I have a crazy crazy schedule this next week so oh. um yeah I'm working like 6 days in a row extended hours Ew. yeah Ew. so by Saturday night oh, I will not be my normal like trooper self big, uh, It's a big, big year end blowout yep, bonanza we have that too. 
like boxing week sale yeah um so what we do in our store uh without really saying what i do uh we just put on boxing gloves and everybody that comes in we give them a good bop (laughs) and that's how they test out the products yeah we bop on them we uh Mm -hmm. um yeah (laughs) <laughs> that's that's awesome i like that i should try that in my store but i think all the old ladies may sue me yeah and you don't want to be knocking those things around too much <laughs> uh, no especially oh, the old God. ones so okay we'll take a break oh, uh we'll take a break next saturday if you uh if you're jonesing for it just email us because you can email us at corn and arthur uh at gmail.com um you and ask it right us, now if you, you want could to. do it right now you could put stuff in the chat if you're watching live hello mom um okay, hello. <laughs> speaking of which, I just wanted to share this. So, um my mom's really good friend Jane, she's a great great person. Um as is my mom, as is most people. Yes. But uh so she makes like the best peanut brittle. Do you know what peanut brittle is? It's like candy like peanuts and it's all mm-hmm. crunchy and sweet and delicious. It destroys your teeth. I don't teeth. necessarily like peanuts, but I know what it is. You don't like what? peanuts okay i thought you said something else um so <laughs> uh, i mean that too uh, <laughs> uh, um, hi i'm courtney and i'm gay um <laughs> oh is this a what is this gay anonymous uh um it, how is it anonymous if i just said my name well it's a safe sp- space so we don't save a splacity spluce space boss but deep but um that's simlish for <laughs> welcome to corner arthur late night chat time Yes. Um, so, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so every year my mom gets this, uh, peanut brittle and last, mm. uh, the last few years, like my mom just eats it without sharing. And, uh, How dare her. no, yeah. I'm kidding. You're great. Rhonda. I love you. Not in this instance. Like what the yeah. hell? Like, <laughs> come on, the share the wealth, right? Like for your children of all people. Yes. So, um, Earlier this week, I we me my sisters and my brother in law get a um a, a Snapchat, and it's just my mm-hmm. mom holding up a piece of peanut brittle like to the camera and going, "Look what I got, bitches!" <laughs> I was just like, "Mom!" Oh my god! I think I saw that recently because I think you. I tweeted it, yeah, because yeah, I had yeah. to share it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but it I just was <laughs> great. I love the fact that she did the dot 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 dot. Oh my and god, my spaces. mother. Is, and then the bitches. My mom is obsessed with using ellipses, and it always makes all of her like, like messages and texts and everything seem so like depressing, because she'll be like, <laughs> no. "Hello, dot dot dot, I just got home from work, dot dot dot, see you soon, dot dot dot." I'm like, "Am I gonna see you soon?" Because it, to me, it sounds like you're suicidal. Like, and you're like, oh "Maybe you'll see me, maybe you won't." Dot, Hi. Dot, dot. I guess I'm okay. Dot dot dot. I'm just like, come on, mom, you're scaring me. Uh, but for brittle. her, dot, it's dot, like, dot. right? <laughs> I got some peanut brittle. Um, <laughs> so that happened this week. Um, so yeah, uh, did I already hit on the emailing us thing? Uh, you can email us. Don't send anything illegal or weird. <laughs> yes. Um. Uh, that may yeah, or may yeah. not have happened, but yeah. Um, but whatever. Uh, so I guess we could hop into an email from somebody. Um, would you like to? Re- I'll. You know what? I'll read it out. I have it up right here. <clears throat> okay. This comes from Lizzie. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's spelled L-I-Z-Z-Y. What, it's probably Lizzie. Um... I think it's Lizzie or Liz-Z. <laughs> Liz-Z. I, Liz-Z. I like that the best. Um, okay. So this says, hey. I've been having troubles with my family lately. She put, hey, exclamation mark. I have to read it the way it's... I know, like, it scared me. Yeah, I mean, it kind of scared me, too, when I read the email. Um, So I'll just start over since you laughed and made me uh, interrupt myself. Hey, (laughs) I've been having troubles with my family lately. And when they asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I said I didn't deserve anything. Oh. Oh, I know. I, I still caught my mom stalking my eBay and Amazon shopping carts. Um. We'll touch. We'll get back to that because I yes. don't really understand that. What can I do to become closer to them? Um, and also, I have no presents planned for them. I'm broke too. Please help me out here. Two exclamation marks. And then she did an, uh, a tilde. You know the little swirly dash. Yes. The and it said tilde. like Merry Christmas and lots of love, Lizzie. Um, 
So having troubles, we'll just we'll just break this down into bits, right? Because there's a lot yes. here, right? And there's a lot of yeah, context for this too. Depth. There's so much yeah. depth. Very depth. Yes. I'm having troubles with my family lately, and when they asked me what I wanted for Christmas, I said I didn't deserve anything. Um, my first question back to you, and this is rhetorical because you can't answer it, um, mm-hmm. Lizzie, is why why don't you why do you feel you don't deserve anything? Come on. Yeah, that's like it's Christmas. Christmas. You deserve something. Don't think that. Like, regardless of like what's going and on. The thing is, if your parents or your family are asking you what you want, then that means in their heart of hearts, they want to buy you a present. So therefore they are distinguishing to you that you deserve a present. Yes. One hundred percent. Um, I still caught my mom stocking my eBay and Amazon shopping carts. That's because she wants to buy you a present. Um, but so I didn't realize this was a thing. I don't know how old you are, Lizzie, um, but I didn't, I don't know. I, I've never had an eBay or sh- I didn't have an Amazon shopping cart until I was, mm, I don't know, 44. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I just oh, have to yeah. make up a, an age. An um, age because, no, like uh, honestly, until I was like 18 when I had like my own credit card, basically. Yeah. Um, and eBay, I don't think I even have an eBay account at this point. Um, yeah, I haven't. eBay, I feel like. Amazon is definitely like the top tier in terms of shopping websites. Yeah, they're just the 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 boss of the the they're the big boss nos of uh, online shopping. Disney of online shopping, yeah. No, that's true. Yeah. Um. Okay. So, what do I do to become closer to them? Well, without really knowing what's going on in their in your relationship or what the strain is, I would say communication's good. Yeah. I feel like that's always the advice we give. It's like, uh, don't bottle things up. Just talk to people because people are people and they all feel what you're going through and don't be, sh- don't plug it up and burst one day. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> they don't know how you're feeling and you don't know how they're feeling if you don't talk. To them. So it, you can't really like know how to fix something if you don't know what is going on through their mind. So you need to talk to them in order to find out a way to, process what's happening and find a solution right exactly so um become closer to yeah just talking to them man sometimes people don't even know like what's up and uh most of the time you can like they can like it makes the it easier for them to relate or understand you if you talk or uh let them in um i feel like that's a disney song somewhere (laughs) Uh, from somewhere probably uh That's okay in the next part and also i have no presence planned for them i'm broke too so um please help me out here uh other than just uh giving us giving you words of advice <laughs> i don't know that we could help either but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh i'm broke too well again i don't know how old you are so if you're like I don't know, 12. I was broke too. I wasn't, I didn't have any money until I was like 15 when I got my own job. Um, so I wouldn't worry too much about that. And you can make homemade stuff, you know, that's fun. You yeah, can, you can bake some cookies. Yeah. You don't need to get uh, them. Like it's always me. the thought that, Oh, that was, that was amazing. Um, it's always the thought that counts. Like people always think that you have to like go extravagant on gifts, but, if you think like if you see something and it reminds you of somebody get it for them like Mm -hmm. it's always the thought that counts rather than spending a million dollars you know if you're in a store and the price tag's too high just take it just take it or just switch the price like yeah Um, (laughs) no don't don't do that you could get in a lot of trouble yeah and don't tell anybody that we told you to do that okay lizzie because i swear to god i'll come after you I will find you. <laughs> we'll find you. <laughs> no. Uh, no. And then uh, I also asked uh, earlier in the week that when, when people sent us stuff, they told us what uh, their favorite holiday candy is. And so she says, postscript, favorite holiday candy is candy canes, smiley emoticon. Uh, not emoji, emoticon. Uh, candy canes. That's a good. That's a good choice. Like good old peppermints, or uh, like the crazy flavors. Like, don't they have like just all kinds, like jelly bean ones now? Oh, I'm sure and, they do now. There's like uh, belly for belly everyone. jollies and all kinds of stuff. Uh, no, but that's great. What is your uh favorite holiday candy, there, corn? 
candy corn. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, um, okay, well, technically, Halloween, yes, is a holiday, but yeah. <laughs> it's not what <laughs> I was going specific. for. Um, no, I mean, I don't necessarily, I'm not a candy person. I know, like, everyone's always like, how are you not a candy person? I'm just not. So, like, um, I'm going to go ahead and say the sugar cookies, even though it's not a candy. Yeah, that is definitely not a candy. Um, uh, it can be if I want it to be. Uh, candy is a social construct. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's not get into that. <laughs> okay. Um, what's my? Oh, what's that? You asked corn. What's yeah, my what, favorite what holiday your, candy? Your holiday <laughs> candy. <laughs> Mine yeah. has to be like fudge or like the homemade stuff, like the peanut brittle and stuff. Oh, cause you you know nobody just like sits around making fudge in the summer. Yeah, like no, they, yeah, it's never in the summer. Like the peanut butter fudge, the chocolate mm-hmm. fudge, yeah. the peanut brittle. Um, my aunt makes this like hard candy that's like cinnamon flavored. It's so good. Oh. Um. Ooh, puppy chow too. You know, like muddy buddies or whatever. Like the homemade puppy stuff. Chow? Wait. Puppy chow. <laughs> Wait. This is another subject that I was thinking about the other day. I'm glad you brought that. I'm glad you Are questioned. You about dog food. No. Okay. So it's like rice <laughs> uh, cereal, like checks coated in like peanut butter and chocolate and then and and then covered in powdered sugar and it's like really good you've never heard of this it's like muddy buddies it sounds good but the fact that you're calling it puppy chow i think you should call it something else because the first thing that comes to my mind is somebody who has never heard of this is you're eating dog food and you need to seek some help okay fair enough (laughs) but the thing is it looks like like dry dog food basically is what the whole oh. thing is yeah okay once it's once you're like eating it uh in your hands okay. and in your mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh okay so, i mean that's fair then that's fair i love the puppy chow um <laughs> it's good but okay so growing up in the midwest uh i always worry that just common terms or things to describe things because the Midwest is so predominantly like racist. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a weird oh, topic. There are foods and things that um you don't really think about as a kid, right? And people just yeah. call them things and those people being older generations. Um mm-hmm. and you go, Oh, when you get older and you like, you know, you you get woke. <laughs> woke TM trademark. Um, you go, Well, ooh, maybe that's not an okay term and then you look it up on google and you're like okay no it is fine but is it racist that i thought it might have been racist (laughs) but uh, that's happened to me Uh, quite a few times lately and then i'm not even bring it up i'm not even tell you what terms i thought were um, that could have been yeah Um, i uh um i yeah i don't think we should just because i think it might get uh too political in here (laughs) yeah no and it's yeah they're not even that interesting anyway um, I mean, I'm interested, but like, I don't know if anybody else is. They're probably not. Um, let's be honest. Let's be honest. <laughs> uh, my assistant manager just sent me a really weird post. She actually sent me the uh, bathedmymilk.com. No, post. not that website. And you know what? I'm really happy because that is probably the third or fourth person from a completely different circle than I'm used to. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, who has sent me that? And I'm like, oh, people get me, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> They're like this is this is Arthur. People from all different walks of my life who don't know each other or really even have ever interacted uh, have sent me the same post, knowing that I would appreciate it. So that that really warms my little my little heart. My little um, cold heart. Uh, okay, so I actually have an activity for you, Corn. Oh, great. I want yeah, you to time. pick a number between uh, uh, tr- 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 1 and 10. 1 and 10, 8. Okay. We're going to do something, and I'm not going to tell you what it is. You'll figure it out real quick. Give me a verb <laughs> okay. ending with I-N-G. A verb ending in I-N-G. Running. Running. Okay. Um, let me just write this down real quick. Okay. Uh, give me a holiday. A holiday? Uh, God, I don't know many. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I'm going to say Boxing Day because I like to punch people. I don't know that that's what Boxing Day is about, but we'll go with it. Uh, yeah, per- that, person. Is it, is it, 
a person oh my god um jesus christ from jesus christ superstar okay the man jc himself <laughs> the man jc uh john legend is going to be playing jesus christ in the live rendition i think they're going to do on the the television they're actually wait they're doing a live I they're need doing to tell a, my dad. they're doing oh a live god. version i think on prime time i i think it's my one dad of those is like gonna poop his pants. i don't know if it's on broadway or what but i just saw the headline that he's going to be playing jesus christ and i was like that's actually really that's really good casting i'm excited that's for that. a really good casting my dad is going to poop his pants tell me a place <laughs> well sorry to interrupt you talking about your dad defecating his own britches but tell me a place well okay can you be more specific is it like uh, a place like okay, any place um, the toilet the bathroom no that's that's fine the toilet okay <laughs> the toilet as in the object right but it's still yes. a place it's a destination yeah, yeah because um, you can adjective adjective um smelly Okay, I see a theme there. Um, and another <laughs> adjective. Uh, I was going to say smelly again. Um, okay. Um, ugly. <laughs> ugly, okay. Uh, an animal. Animals. So, uh, a plural. So different? Of, uh, no, oh, okay. just like many of the same animal. Okay. Um, I like snails. <laughs> snails, okay. Gross. <laughs> no, I don't. They're gross. <laughs> Uh, noun. I thought it said nun at first, and I was like, "Sister Mary." Um, nun. A nun. Yep. <laughs> you made that happen. <laughs> okay. A uh, person. A person. Okay. Um. Um. John Legend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Uh. Verb. Verb. Oh my God. Um. Di Dying. Die? Yeah, yes. I was gonna say defecating, but no, dying is better. Uh, uh. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, well, I put die as in D I E, but it's gonna work differently when I read it. So, <laughs> a <laughs> verb ending with E D. E D. Oh, e D, not U D. I said E D. Oh, I thought you said a verb ending with U D. I was like, there are none. <laughs> what the? I U D? <laughs> um, no. Okay, E D. That's a good um, IUD guarded. guarded? Farted. Oh. Okay. Why would I think anything else? Uh, adjective again. <laughs> um, fuck. No, crap. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, crappy. Okay. Um, uh, verb. Just a regular verb? Yeah. Um, <laughs> shirt. <laughs> okay. Well, we're 12 years old. Uh, I mean, a, yes. A, a nouns, nouns. Nouns, a plural noun. Yeah, it would be, or you could just give me a noun and I'll pluralize it. Plural, okay. pluralize it. Pl pluralize it. Um, polar bears. <laughs> I know. Jesus. Well, there's not much. I have to abbreviate. Okay. Okay, that's okay. A past verb. A past verb. Um, fainted. And a noun. A noun. Um, a tree stump. <laughs> Okay. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Another noun. Um. Okay. Uh. Crap. I'm looking around my room. Um, a mirror. <laughs> okay, that's a weird one. Um. Noun again. Uh. I need three nouns. Three nouns three in nouns. a round. Round okay. in a row. Uh, a, okay. Okay. My left toe. Okay. Um, <laughs> a light bulb and a chair. <laughs> um. A place. Uh, I was gonna say my butthole, but that is not a place. Uh, um, my butthole. Okay. <laughs> I'm just taking the first thing you say now. Uh, okay. a person. Uh, Arthur. Okay, and <laughs> another person. Uh, shy. <laughs> uh, verbing. A verb ending with ing. A verb ending in ing. Um. Smoking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, this is good. This is good. All right. Do you know what we just did? We did a Mad Lib. There you go. You won. All right. Well, that was the activity, guys. Um, all right. So did you get like a BuzzFeed quiz or anything going on this week? Wait, we're not reading it? Oh, is that what you're supposed to do with Mad Libs? Yeah. What, I just thought you... it was fun filling it out. No. Yeah. We need to know what it says. That's oh, okay. Well, let me, it. let me, I, I put it in my paper shirt. Just one, one second. Okay. 
I'm just having to tape it back together real quick. <laughs> all right, all right, okay. <clears throat> this is called holiday. Or sorry, let me start over. I got too excited. You got this is. <laughs> This is called Hidden Present. So this is Christmas themed ad lib. I don't oh, know. No. Or Mad Lib. Um bad bad lid. Okay, so I was running. I'm a kid. I'm supposed to snoop, especially around boxing day time. Okay. What Jesus what Jesus Christ doesn't snoop. <laughs> <laughs> I just so happened to be in our toilet. Normally I'm not up there. It's smelly and ugly, plus there are snails. Yuck. <laughs> Oh my god. I couldn't help myself. There it was right behind my little sister's old nun. Guess John Legend didn't think I would die. Oh my god. I farted it. It felt crappy. Should I shard it? <laughs> Looking closer, I saw some polar bears. I got even closer and fainted. A tree stump. <laughs> The oh hidden mirror was alive. A yelp came from my left toe. I opened the light bulb, and to my surprise, a chair was inside. What the heck? That was stupid. I love it. Keep I'm going. not done. <laughs> uh, I opened the light bulb, and to my surprise, a chair was inside. Guess who else was hidden in my butthole? Oh my god. Arthur and Shy just knew I was smoking. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right i thought that was fun i like mad libs ad libs that was so whatever you want to call them. um oh man i teared up a little bit that was so funny uh <laughs> <laughs> to my surprise a chair <laughs> <laughs> yeah like the most like could you imagine it's christmas morning you're nine years old you asked for that beautiful doll for christmas yep you're all psyched you didn't sleep all night, but you stayed in your room and you were good and your parents were like, Don't get out of your room until seven AM or else or no Santa Christmas. Will come. Or Santa yep. or I'll slit Santa's throat in front of you. <laughs> and <they're, laughs> and you're like, Okay, I'll stay in my room. So you stay in your room all night and at seven mm -hmm. o'clock hits, you set four alarms just in case. Maybe five yep. alarms. You wander downstairs to the Christmas tree. You can have a it, there's a big beautiful box. And it looks about the same size as that life-size doll that you asked for. Because those yeah. were the shit back when you were nine, right? Yeah, You could style their hair. You could wear their clothes. You could dance with them. You could have tea they're, parties. They're you could perform autopsies. Whatever. Oh, yeah. And you wander <laughs> over to that present and you rip into it. And it's a chair. <laughs> oh, my God. And you have that to act surprised. And happy because you're uh you're a gracious and polite little motherfucker. Yep. And you have to straight face look at your parents and say, Thank you for the chair, mummy and daddy. I love it. I'm gonna sit on it and every time I sit on it I'll think of how great you are. Anyway. Oh my god, a chair. Okay. <laughs> that was a weird tangent. All right. Yeah, uh, I just let you go for it. <laughs> Do you have anything else uh, uh, today? What's what's going on? Uh, you said you did have a, a a BuzzFeed quiz or something. Yes. Okay. I have a BuzzFeed quiz. Um, we're, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. Okay. So we're just I'm gonna just, do it. Go ahead and intro it. I'm pouring myself some more coffee. Okay. Hello, the, guys. The, the coffee we're... pot's here, though. So I mean. Okay. 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 We're doing a quiz today. Um, Arthur doesn't know what it is, so. This is going to be fun. This is going to be great. I just hear the coffee in the background. I'm going to try and talk a little loud. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> Sorry okay. if you have to urinate now. I kind of do from that noise. Yeah, that really uh, grinded my gears. Thanks. That really trickled my streams. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Let's do this I quiz. Can't... Oh, my God. I cannot. <laughs> okay. So... I don't think that was inappropriate, was it? No, it wasn't inappropriate. It, it was just. Oh, I don't think it garnered that kind of response no it was just very witty <laughs> like i wasn't expecting that to be the response to come out of your mouth okay not saying that you're not witty but just like no i, I got expecting... i got it all right i get it <laughs> i i know what you think of me now and i oh, just go, Arthur, go on with a freaking quiz if you even want to hear my responses 
I'm gonna come kick your ass. Please do. <laughs> Literally, I'm walking over there right now. Sorry, guys. I gotta pause this live stream. We'll get back to you in about uh 394 hours. 575,600 minutes. Sorry, I heard that song on my way to work today, and I was like, man, I haven't, oh. I haven't heard this song in a minute. And then I also <laughs> said I haven't heard it in a minute because a lady who was about 40 years old at work the other day said... I haven't slept in a minute. And I was like, oh my, oh god. my god, you're 40. You can't say that. <laughs> you That's can't our say word. That. Yeah, you can. <laughs> We're millennials. Come on. Yeah. You uh you fucking pleb. Sorry. Yeah. Wow. Anyways. I hate her. Okay. Me too. We should go we should go burn her house. Oh, uh, anyways, I do uh, have her address. Oh my god, no. Stop. She was a Christmas sweater. So, I'm going to I'm going to describe them the best Ooh, of yeah, my okay. ability. This is going to be bad because I am the worst. Okay. Be real so descriptive. You need to tell me about thread counts and material usage. I am a blind bitch. How do you expect me to see how many thread counts are in this sweater? I am a I can blind barely read it. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I am a blind ellipses. Space. Bitch. Okay, Rhonda. Anyways. <laughs> Hi, Rhonda. I hope you're doing great today. Anyways. Um... So we have the first one. It says, Merry Christmas, you filthy animal. Mm -hmm. um, it's a red one. It has trees and snowflakes on it. And that's really it. Second one is a blue sweater with snowmen with cute little beanies on them. Oh. They're, they're, it's super cute. The third one is a multicolored shirt. It's not very Christmassy. I mean, it's... The colors are just all wrong for Christmas. Like, whoever designed that shirt is stupid. Is it like and a Bill Cosby sweater? It might be like a Bill... Yeah, it literally looks like that. That's... Yep. It looks don't like Bill Cosby? It. Yes. <laughs> um, no, okay. but it, it'll, liter it lit it'll literally... So far, yes. number two, number the second one's winning the snowmen, the snowboys. Okay. Okay. okay, so, or no, you're, you're going to pick this one. This one is a green sweater with a bunch of cats on. Ooh, and I don't wearing... know what that's supposed to mean, that I would pick that one, but whatever. Because you love to fuck with Lenny. So, um... I like to uh, mess with him and annoy him, I should clarify. Which is essentially fuck with him. Okay. <laughs> and they are wearing a little... What? I just don't want people getting a, we a weird idea. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't even thinking about it like that. But, um... Well, you should think wearing... about what you say before you say it. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Okay, Dad. Oh, my God. Don't call me But, that. uh... <laughs> they're wearing a uh, little Christmas hat. Uh, the next one is Swipe Right for Miss Claus. Ugh. Yep, gross. And then the last one is a black sweater with a Christmas tree on it. Ooh, that last one sounds pretty emo, though. Yeah, it looks really emo for a Christmas Dude, sweater. Dude, we're definitely doing that one. Yeah. Um, What's your favorite thing about Christmas? The music? Giving gifts? <laughs> okay. Uh, receiving gifts? Snow? Christmas movies and TV specials? Or the food? Uh, definitely the food. I mean, this, the Christmas movies are pretty top as well because, man, there have been some good ones this year. I We should do I a whole, we should do a whole, uh, ep too bad Christmas is over because we could do a whole episode reviewing um, A Christmas Prince on Netflix. Such a good one. I haven't one. seen it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Um, <laughs> or I've could... heard good things. <laughs> I mean, it's so wonderfully bad, but it's great. Yeah, but if it wasn't wonderfully bad, it wouldn't be Christmas. <laughs> right, that's true. Okay, so I said food. Yes. Okay, so uh, choose a Christmas movie. So these are essentially all the classics. Um, Home Alone, Elf, Miracle on 34th Street, Nightmare Before Christmas. I mean, that's kind of like a Halloween slash Christmas movie. Yeah. Uh, Love Actually or Die Hard? Oh my god, it's totally god. It's so lame, but it's love actually. It, I mean, the movie's not lame. I love that movie, so that's a yeah. Bit. A close second would have been Elf, and then third would have been uh, Home Alone. Yeah, Die Elf Hard is Alone. not. It's not a Christmas movie. It's not funny anymore. Like ugh, yeah, just I, fuck off. I right. literally, 
I haven't even seen Die Hard, to be honest. I know that's bad, but like, I'm not mad. I'm at not you. a movie. I'm not mad. Okay. Don't worry about <laughs> I'm it. not mad. I'm not mad. Don't, Don't worry about it. And then you just come to my house and kill me <laughs> with a bat. <laughs> yeah, a, a bat with like uh, nails on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. It was already pretty aggressive and you just made it way more aggressive. <laughs> a bat without nails is meant to just, you know, pummel and just, you know, rough you up, but with yep. nails, that's 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 a kill shot. Yeah, of course. All right. I uh, had to. So, um, I said Love Actually cuz uh, yes. now I'm going to watch I'm going to watch Love Actually after this, by the way. Do it. I'm I think I may have watched it once. I actually don't remember the bit. Well, Love Actually you might have I don't know. I was making an actually joke. Okay. Ha 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 ha. You're so. That was actually funny. I'm not. It's uh, not. Who do you don't... prefer? <laughs> Me. Uh, that really butters my egg roll. But <laughs> who? <laughs> who do you prefer to spend the holidays with? <laughs> wow, I'm about to get really. Uh, my significant other, <laughs> immediate family, extended family, friends, strangers, just by myself, to be honest. Um. It's definitely my immediate family. Yeah, the extended family cannot. I I actually don't have much extended family. I know this that seems weird, but I I mean I do. No, but I mean, not I any that it would weird. like. It would be weird to uh, hang out with them. I mean, so extended family. Do you count like aunts and uncles and cousins as extended family? Yes. Okay. Well, then it's my immediate family. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, times three by Usher. Or wait, no, is that Chris? I don't remember. Who cares? I literally don't care. <laughs> okay, Arthur. Choose <laughs> a stocking stuffer. Uh, candles, bath bombs. I thought that said boobs again. Books, mugs. I was really confused because it was a book. But um, picture frames or socks? Mm. This year, I would go with books. I've been reading a lot lately. It's great. Ooh, what you been reading? Well, okay, so after our first episode where uh, I proved I knew nothing about Hemingway, I've been reading through Hemingway again um, oh. because um, he's a really insightful and uh, tragic writer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, and Don't have to say anything more than that. I've also, I've also been writing stuff myself. Ooh. So it's kind of it's kind of nice to like read and then uh I don't know. It doesn't. It's not necessarily like echoing or or copying what the uh, author has written. It's like it helps me uh, compile my thoughts better. Yeah. I've been writing some funny, funny things and some some dramatic things. Um. So yeah, that's it some good stuff. Sounds very exciting. Yeah. Never gonna yeah. probably use it for anything, but it's it's like practice, right? And uh, yeah, it's, it's cathartic. So. Yep. It's good to get it out. So. Mm-hmm. Anyway, it's like pooping. So what was that? Uh, books. Uh, socks yes. would be number two probably. I because yeah. I like dress socks. I can wear goofy dress socks. I know that seems lame because everybody does. No, it that's great. Listen, if you're you're if you like it, it doesn't matter if everyone else. Uh, which naughty thing are you guilty of doing this year? <laughs> lying to get <laughs> everything. Uh, lying to get out of trouble. Texting K to someone. I feel like you've done that to me before, so like. Oh, is that probably. a bad thing? I don't do it out of um, um, like. Like to annoy or make someone. Yeah, or in like in negative negative connota- connotation. I just, I'm responding. I think saying okay or K is better than not responding at all. Well, true. It's basically saying understood. I guess yeah. I could just start saying affirmative. Affirmative. <laughs> affirmative anderson uh but okay sorry i forgot where i was for a second (laughs) um who are we (laughs) let's not get all existential nihilists on each other okay (laughs) okay um uh canceling plans on friends leaving the dishes for someone else to clean being jealous of someone's success or telling white lies so white lies are like little lies that don't really have any, um, like. Outcome. Yeah. Yeah. I say that's probably it because I don't give a shit about other people's success. Fuck people. Um, <laughs> and oh, yes. I don't really lie to get out of trouble because I don't really get in trouble. I mean, at work I get in trouble, but I'm just like, yeah, I did some stupid shit. Am I fired? 
<laughs> and uh what was the other ones uh i don't leaving know leaving the dishes for someone to clean uh, no because it's always plans. just me okay. that ends up doing that canceling plans yeah. i don't really do anymore because for one i don't make plans or have plans and two um uh yeah no yeah yeah oh jesus um okay and then the last one is choose a christmas you have roast potatoes sorry, a, a christmas food you cut out yes. okay, okay okay oh a christmas food yes sorry a christmas food yes okay so you have roast potatoes stuffing roast turkey <laughs> brussels sprouts uh gingerbread <laughs> It just says gingerbread. What? That's a thing. <laughs> yeah, but like, <laughs> I don't know. Just the way it has like gingerbread men on it. So like, it just says gingerbread. So it like messes with yeah, my brain. Yeah, you would think they would say like gingerbread cookies or gingerbread yeah. like bread. Like, yeah. Yeah, so it just said gingerbread. So I was like, wait, <laughs> I'm confused. Or uh, Christmas pudding. Ugh. I've um... never had Christmas pudding. Well, I mean, like, we have, like, bread pudding, which I think is similar, which yeah. is basically, like, a big baked French toast, mm -hmm. which is pretty good. Yeah. But I would go with the Brussels sprouts, because I'd like Brussels sprouts, and they're in season, and ooh. Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you cook those up right. Oh, 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 mamma mia. So we uh, finished the quiz. Okay, so what was the quiz again? You didn't tell me what it was. No, I didn't. Uh, okay. So the quiz was, which Christmas character are you? Okay. Uh, if you could take any guesses, I want to know what you think you would have gotten. Um. Ooh, Christmas character am I? From like a classic Christmas movie? I'm assuming. Uh. Ooh, that's a good one. I don't know. I do not yeah, know. Yeah, it is like a, it's from like a classic movie because I was scrolling through seeing like what so um okay so you got the grinch yeah because <laughs> of the brussels sprouts probably yeah it was probably literally that is the only they assumed only the grinch would pick that but you can be quite cold and intimidating but it's a pro wait i cannot read i'm triggered <laughs> yeah, when they when they call you out, yeah. when like, they speak the truth, and I'm like, oh um, no, yeah. Buzzfeed, how do uh, you know? How, how do you know that that's what uh that's what I am? Stop calling me out. But okay, I for some reason could not read the word protective when it was that tiny. But it's a protective demeanor that means you're often misunderstood. You have a small group of people you love deeply, but you're a bit of a loner at heart. Honestly, most of the time, you'd rather just stay at home and catch up on your TV shows. Mm. They just called you out, Arthur. To a T. Mm. <laughs> Arthur's just gonna make grunting noises because he knows that it's true. You're a mean one. I'm playing the Grinch now. Um, you're a mean one. <sighs> I mean, I agree with that, but you know, at the end of the day, the Grinch's heart grew four times. And True. <laughs> he saved Christmas, even though he was the one that messed it up, but still, he redeemed himself. So, mm -hmm. there we go. I am proud of the Grinch, and I am proud of you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it is officially 9.55, so unless you have anything else to talk about, uh, I say we wrap this baby boy up like a Christmas gift and put a ribbon on it and put it under the tree for the kiddos in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be a good idea. Yeah, we're good? Think, yep, we we're can good? wrap this up. Yes, like a... Uh... Okay, well, thank you for listening to Corn and Arthur Late Night Chat Time. Goodbye. No, I'm not saying goodbye yet. But thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you, Corn, uh, for coming and chatting with me every every Saturday night. You're um, welcome. It's been so much fun. This is a good one. I'm excited for Christmas. And, um, Same. Like I said, we're going to take a break next week, uh, if anybody follows along, uh, just because I'm throwing a big old big old bash, so I have to get ready for that. Yeah, and I'm coming, so I have to somehow make my way down 
making my way downtown to Missouri. <laughs> I never remember. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, end up in Kansas. <laughs> I mean, unless some miracle happens where we just have like a free hour, we could. I guess it only takes an hour, but still. Yeah. I don't know. I would just rather not have the stress. Not that this is yeah. stressful, but. Um, yeah. No, I understand. So yeah, we do this every Saturday night at nine o'clock Central Time, which is what eight eastern 10 eastern 10 eastern and Where 7 pacific time um right. on twitch.television yes. slash the rogue arthur and then i will <laughs> <laughs> it's not actually dot television it's dot tv but um... oh that's why i can never find it thank you for clarifying yeah i just like to make sure everybody finds it um so there uh so uh every every saturday mm -hmm. uh nine o'clock central time uh seven o'clock uh eastern and uh no western and uh t uh yeah uh figure it out i'm not your mom um <laughs> thank you for watching guys uh it's been great you guys have been <laughs> i wasn't done and i uploaded on youtube the next day okay i'm done now this music's really intense and we're probably gonna get copyright strikes but who cares i'm not trying to make money off this it's just for fun okay bye i love you all we'll talk to you later have a very merry christmas happy holidays have a good new year's i'll be in a bad